introduction Michelle okay so um, my name is Trace Ritter I um, am not only the um, chief medical officer for Arroyo Grande Community Hospital but I'm also a full-time practicing infectious disease physician and have been on the front line with all my colleagues here um, since uh, March of, of 2020 when this um, Th this problem was was uh, pushed upon us. Um, so I, I wear several different hats, and and one of the things I want to share with you today is that the, the the hat I wear as chief medical officer, where I am the the liaison between um, what's happening in the hospital and all of our physicians, and I get daily calls um, asking if there's anything I know about what they can do to to help. Um, lighten their load um, as, as they're, they are being overwhelmed, they are exhausted, we're dealing with staffing shortages, um, we're having to limit services that, that we provide. Um, everybody is, is exhausted and we are looking for uh, the help of the community and we know exactly what needs to happen. We call these non-pharmacologic interventions because we are at the, at, in the hospital, th that's the end of the line. We're not going to be able to do anything to prevent uh, the disease once people end up in our emergency departments, in our hospital beds, and in our intensive care unit beds. And so we know that, that staying away from, from people when you're sick is important. We know that social distancing is important. We know that masking is important and works. And we'd like to see people return to doing that um, as not only as a way to, to, to protect um, themselves, but to protect others. Because we know that there is a significant portion of this disease where people will spread disease before they even know that they've had it. Um, and we know that, that getting tested um, is important as well. All of these services are available. Um, and most importantly, we know that vaccines are effective and work. And we have great correlation between the populations that are unvaccinated and how frequently they end up in the hospitals. Um, so we know that vaccines work, they're safe, they're effective, they're FDA approved, um, and we would encourage um, everyone who's eligible to get vaccinated and re return to indoor masking. Uh, with that, I will uh, turn it over. I believe that we're going to take questions now.